today we're going to read the whole story, whatever next, from beginning to end. Because then we're going to focus on one of the illustrations in the story and think about changing the sentence up a little bit. Can I go to the moon? asked Baby Bear. No, you can't, said Mrs Bear. It's bath time. Anyway, you'd have to find a rocket first. Can you remember what Baby Bear finds? Baby Bear found a rocket in the cupboard under the stairs. He found a space helmet on the draining board in the kitchen and a pair of space boots on the mat by the front door. He packed his teddy and some food for the journey and took off up the chimney. Whoosh! Out into the night. An owl flew past. That's a smart rocket, he said. Where are you off to? The moon, said Baby Bear. Would you like to come too? Yes, please, said the owl. An aeroplane roared out of the clouds. Baby Bear waved and some passengers waved back. On and on they flew, up and up above the clouds, past millions of stars, till at last they landed on the moon. There's nobody here, said Baby Bear. There are no trees, said the owl. It's a bit boring, said Baby Bear. Shall we have a picnic? What a good idea, said the owl. Now you can see everything that Baby Bear took with him to the moon. We better go, said Baby Bear. My bath must be ready by now. Off they went, down and down. The owl got out and flew away. Goodbye, he said. It was so nice to meet you. It rained and the rain dripped through Baby Bear's helmet. I wonder how he's feeling. Home went Baby Bear, back down the chimney and onto the living room carpet with a bump. What is Mrs. Bear going to say? Mrs. Bear came into the room. Look at the state of you, she gasped, as she led him away to the bathroom. Why, you look as though you've been up the chimney. As a matter of fact, said Baby Bear, I have been up the chimney. I found a rocket and went to visit the moon. Mrs. Bear laughed. I wonder why Mrs. Bear's laughing. You and your story, she said. Whatever next. Okay, we're going to focus on the part of the story where Baby Bear flies out of the chimney. And it says that he went whoosh out into the night. I want you to think about some different words instead of whoosh. What would it sound like when Baby Bear takes off into the night. You could describe the speed that Baby Bear flew into the sky. Think about your own words and think about your own sentences and send some to me on your portfolio so I can have a look. 